Okay, what's up guys? This is me, Doc, of course. I'm here just chilling. I need to shave, actually, just hanging out. But I just saw something kind of cool. They updated the software manager, which is actually called now the In Music Software Center. And it makes it much more easier to actually update. I just updated my MPC with it and updated some other things too. I just got a brand new MPC, the MPC One Plus. And that'll be out soon. I'm done with that video just about. Just got to do some edits and then put it out. It's a long video, about four hours long. But it's how to use the MPC One Plus. Anyway, let's get to the point of today's video. And we're going to get down to here. Here we go. In Music Software Center, which is right there. I'll click on that. This opens up, and we're, here, here it comes right now. Let's make this really big, hide everything else here. Boom, there you go. Now we got it maxed out. The chair's kind of squeaky today. Okay, here we go. In Music Software Center. It's a big presentation here for this thing. And this is kind of cool. This makes it easier for me to do everything, actually. I have everything here. I've got some hardware, all the hardware I've got, expansion packs, all my expansion packs. All the software I've got and support. If I got support, he's supporting something. I need support. Please support me. I come right to here and we're in support. It pulls the page up for support, which is kind of cool too. And this is uh, support. Alto? Well, whatever that is. That's an Alto? Okay. It's Alto right there. Kind of cool. Let's go to Copy Professional. We'll go to here. We have a support page for this one too. And let's see the support page. There you go. So it gets you around where to get your support from. Now, let's go from the top here. Add a product. You know, you get a brand new machine, you want to add it. You got to go to the website. You got to log in. Well, this way, they already know who I am. I'm locked in already. I just use this app. I'm in. I put it in my dock area on my Mac, and I'm good. So I don't know where you put it actually on a PC, but there must be a dock area. Just put that application right there. Now, here, of course, I put the serial number in here. I add it to the account. Then, bam. It's in there, much more easier. Now, my thing had always been in the past about getting all these softwares and then downloading them one at a time and then putting them in. It's like crazy. And I got an easy way to do it eventually. But now, this is much more easier. So, for example, I'll come to here. I got my software. And we'll see here. We got two. It says here, two. What's this two thing for? So, I have no idea. This is for two, right? So, there must be two. I got to update right now. But you can see this here. We have the MPC2 software, and I've updated already. It's, I can open it up. It's already open, actually. I have the MPC Beats, of course. I have a firmware updater. I can update my firmware pretty quickly right there. Now, I'm going to look down here to see what this is about, because I've never seen this before. This is just now. I didn't even know this came up, and I'm trying to figure out what is 2. So, i got to find out which 2 i got to update anyway. So, you can see that already, and I've got this. MPC one, MPC one Plus driver right there. And we have the MPC Studio 2 driver right here. They're all installed. So if you need to install something, I can install that. And it's pretty easy to do, right? And then below here, we have plug-in instruments. They're all here. It's kind of cool, right? Activated. Everybody's activated right here. Kind of cool. Here we go. Get activation code for the Velvet, right? I got hybrid and I got this mini thing here, which I just got actually back. Um, I forgot when I got it, but I got it. I haven't used it much because I'm a pretty, I'm not that much of a hybrid guy. The Mini Grand is okay, but uh, Fabric Collections got the Grand in there. I like a lot, so I'm not worried about that. Now, next we have the hardware. So my hardware is here. You can see that if I come to here and let's say start messing with it. So I got the USB cable plugged into the back of my new MPC One Plus. That cable goes into my computer system right over there. And now all I got to do is let it do its job. So I'm, it says connect. I'm already connected. I go to next right here. And we're looking at it now. It has apps and drivers. Now, the drivers are very important to work with the apps, of course. So I've got apps here. A list of the apps they gave me. And, of course, right here. Information is right here. I don't know much. Let's go here. If you don't know much, you click right there. Well, pretty simple. It says it's a driver. That's about it. And it gives you the version of it, the number one. And then over here, we got this one that says install, right? I click here, same thing. What you got installed, what's going to be installed, click that out. Now, next, we're going to have here, which is the MPC Sound Packs. And these were installed also, which is kind of cool. Didn't have to do much, you know, just let it install. Plus, I got that special thing, Jura. Let's go to next here. 
and I got that. I put it in here. I uploaded my stuff. I went to the store, picked it, and it's good. So this is all done. And actually, we have the software here. The hardware is here, right? There's the hardware. Then we have expansion packs. All the expansion packs are here. I want to make sure they're installed. Now, one thing I prefer them to do, too, is actually take the expansion packs and install them directly in the NPC-1. Why not just do that, you know? There's no link for that, which I would love to see. As you can see, NPC sound packs are right here. I can click there. They're gone. They're back again. But there should be a button here saying, whoa, let's start putting that inside something else, you know? I want to download and install someplace. So it's already been downloaded. So uh, I'm trying to figure a way to do that. I can actually do it by on the hard drive before you couldn't do that with mpc1 you had to actually do it on your mpc1 put a hard drive an external hard drive in and sort of download or export that out so i would normally do this here see so you come to here on the mpc1 or sorry the mc software and i'd come in here and i'd say okay i want to do an expansion i come to file you get the file you go to export and you go in here expansion and then you ex select expansion but second i got a card in here it says read only and nothing here says write, and this is kind of weird. I've added all different types of cards in here, and it still says read only, which is kind of weird. But normally, what I would normally do is click on one of these bad boys and say, okay, I want to put that one in there, I want to put this one in there, and that one too, and then I want to export it. When you get to export, it's like, error, error, so what the hell? So I got to figure that one out too as well. Not too sure why they're not doing that now. That should be done actually inside of this in music software manager center or software center right and i wish they did that but otherwise all the expansions are here now next we have the all software so everything's here for software too you see got the lay ether i got the flavor pro flex beat and the vocal effect collection which i could download i've never actually i hope it works let me just download this anyway maybe it's free now with my new system that's the funny thing now, too. They've given you a lot of stuff also with the MPC-1 Plus to make it for something I have no idea or just to give out stuff to get more guys involved since they made the MPC-1 Plus. So we like it. We're going to see what happens. Do not know. But I'm going to keep adding more and more stuff. I do not know what I'm going to get. But I, what I see, I just keep downloading and see if I can upload it and have it as part of the system. It's so cool, though, to look at this in Music Software Center. It's just better than before. So, I got the bass. I can open it up here. But right now, I'm just going to go through this whole thing here and see what's up. And download this vocal effect collection. What else have we got here? I see. So, everything you can see is pretty much here. Stuff I don't use to now is in here as well. So, I can already see that stuff and maybe want to use it again. And so, install it. Let's install that. And that's how it works. Say, okay, install it for me, please. Woo, there's an installer. I'll go to continue install then put the name in here what's well, the password actually my password goes in write the files in let's be written on my hard drive okay the blink came in blinking sound okay would you like to access files on your sure why not and do I want to keep it I'm keeping it I'm moving to trash is in there keep it inside the system so what that means is going to keep it inside this system right here, right? And so here's the vocal manager installed. There you go. It's installed. Oh, I can use it. Fantastic. So it makes it easier for me. So check out what you can install, what you have not installed, what you might be able to install and find out why or why not. But this is the best way to actually do it. I love it. And one more thing here I want to show you, which is the support. we got to have support somewhere. So support's kind of funky to me. I would prefer like something different, but you know, it's their company. I have no idea and it's probably hard to do. I mean, I know a lot of stuff and guys keep contacting me. And of course I know it because I use a lot of gear and when I'm in sessions with artists or clients or whatever, but um, I know it because I have gotten so many questions. An artist will come in with an MPC. He wants to use this device with the uh, MPC and Ableton Live. I got to run the MPC outputs of all the parts directly in the Ableton Live because he wants his defects in Ableton Live. And I have to do a whole bunch of stuff and to do all this stuff, you need to know it. So it's hard to do support. I understand people are complaining about Akai support. I get it. You know, I don't know anybody has great support. Even Apple is not the best with the support. And I do love Apple stuff, but they, you gotta know your stuff these days. It's getting ridiculous with it, but 
What, what can I tell you? That's how the world is. So let's go back to here. Boom. And we're back in here. It's kind of cool. But I still love a lot of gear, but it's hard to do support. I got to admit that these guys are all trying and they can do the best they can do. That's all. So any questions about this new update or about how to use this, I pretty much know the whole thing now. You can hit me up at the bottom or talk about it, whatever. I will be making a brand new video and posting it online by Tuesday of the MPC One Plus. And also, I'm done with the MPC 2.12 software. I've got the full software done, instructions for everything, how the whole thing works, and it comes out, I believe, Monday morning. Any questions, hit me up. I got more videos coming. And we're just trying to get them done one at a time, make sure they look good. But more instructors are coming, including Ableton Live. Any questions, hit me up. Hey, subscribe. I forgot to do that. Please subscribe because not everybody's subscribing. And by subscribing, it's kind of cool. I can keep doing more instructional videos and supply them here for you. Okay, that should be it. Peace.